Hello everyone, Tech1421 here. Welcome back to an episode of Pokemon Sapphire Random and Nuzlocke. And I have some terrible news for everyone. While I was recording off screen, unfortunately all my Pokemon fainted and died, which means we have no Pokemon left. I'm just kidding, April Fools. <laughs> Hopefully I got some of you. Um, it is April 1st when I am making this video. I hopefully made some kind of creative title and stuff, but don't be fooled! I hope I caught some of you though, but uh, yeah, we're just going to uh, place these Pokemon back in our party. We're still alive in this Let's Play and doing actually quite well. And in this episode, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, I wish it was easier to move to my party. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and uh, battle the Gym Leader. Try to get our third badge of this LP. And I think my Pokemon are high enough level to take them on, so... I'm feeling pretty confident about this one, and I hope none of my Pokemon die. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're going to move our Cut Slave to the very end here. Um, but yeah, it's April Fool's Day, so uh, it's April 1st, obviously, and I don't know if it's celebrated worldwide, but it's celebrated by like jokesters and people do pranks on each other. But, um, I always try to come up with some kind of creative video on YouTube to do. Last year I did some kind of like quick clip thing that was pretty funny. I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, so yeah. So we're going to go ahead and lead off with Peanut. I feel like that's probably the best thing to do. And there's some kind of puzzle here. And I'm never that great at some of these puzzles. I forget if this is the hard one or, or not. But we're going to go ahead and battle this guy. Um, level 18 Pokemon. So the gym leader may be around 22 or so, which is, which is pretty good. We're going to go ahead and Ice Punch. Hopefully it doesn't have some kind of like super effective move on us. Uh, that was super effective, but it is poison, and that's going to take it out. Poison touch for the win. Oh, yeah. Level 23 for Peanut. That's pretty fantastic. And next up is Slowpoke. Let's go ahead and see how Dragon fares against some of these Pokemon here. Um, we're going to go ahead and use an Extreme Speed. And hopefully that... Okay, it's not going to do that much, actually. It's going to change to Normal type. And I'm pretty sure that we are, in fact, uh, both Normal type and... Oh, gosh. Water Spout. That was a little scary. I hate Water Spout. Extreme Speed, come on, do, do more damage. Alright, Normal Type again, Water Spout, it's not going to do too much. We had to use ex three Extreme Speeds, but uh, yeah. Dragon is Dark and Ghost, so I don't think Normal Type uh, moves are affected against it, if, I, if I'm, I'm pretty sure about that. Uh, so yeah, alright. Did pretty good there, let's take on the next trainer. There are four trainers in this gym, and then the gym leader. Uh, this guy only has a Smeargle. Hopefully Silver Wind can do a lot. Uh, we are flinched. That kind of sucks. Rest. He's going to use Rest when he's full HP. That's pretty funny. Um, Alright, Silver Wind did a lot of damage there. Uh, he's poisoned now, which is fantastic. And Silver Wind for the knockout. Cool stuff. Get a little bit of HP back from that Shell Bell and all that. Um, but yeah, my question of the day is not going to be really Pokemon related. But I, I want to know what, what's the, what's the what's the best prank you've ever played on someone uh, as far as like April Fools go or, or any time of the year. What's what's the best prank you've ever had on someone before? And I'm not really sure what mine is. Super Fang is a move where you actually lose half your HP, so that's a little scary there. I think we can, yeah. If he's just going to keep using Super Fang, we're fine. Uh, but that is a little scary of a move. So I am going to switch out here into probably Olivia because Olivia is really good and the water spout is such a great move that I could pretty much hit anything I don't think the crit hit really mattered too much but yeah what's what's the best prank you ever played on someone and um, personally off the top of my head I I don't really know of any pranks of really that I the, the best pranks ever the best pranks in video game wise probably like some kind of like minecraft something um, so ember is gonna take it out cool stuff I need a better move set on on Dragon for sure though, because I don't like his move set very very much. Uh, I'm gonna go into Olivia here, just because she is full HP. She can take anything on, and uh, we should be good there. I just want to battle that one last trainer right there if we can get to her. Are we gonna be able to get to her? I don't think we are. Wow. Can I can I not? Oh, there she is. Haha. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and battle her, and then we're gonna go to the Pokemon Center and heal up a little bit. I might actually battle some more trainers outside of this place just to get some more h or xp levels advantage on the on the leader because all it really takes is just one pokemon that 
uh, some kind of really good move, and, and then we're dead. Uh, Cotton Spore, let's see what it does. I kind of forget. I think it's some kind of like sleep thing. No, it reduces the speed. It doesn't do any power. I think we're fine with the moves we have now. I, I really want to learn better moves than what we have, but we can always actually teach our Pokemon some HMs as well, so there's no rules against that. So that that that's a... We can definitely do that later. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and run to the Pokemon Center. I can't run indoors, so never mind. We're not going to run, but I want to run. I'm running inside. Uh, <laughs> doesn't make any sense. All right, Pokemon Center. And then we'll, we'll battle all the trainers to our left of us real quick because just you know get some more levels and stuff uh let's just go ahead and leave with dragon because he is the lowest on our team right now there we go cool so i think there's three trainers that were yet to battle in this area i i, I believe maybe two all right it's looking like two uh unless this person's not a trainer or yeah okay there we go so here's a trainer right here and it also kind of goes along with the same theme that we were battling those guys. I'm just going to go with an extreme speed. And it's not going to do as much damage as I, hope, as I hoped. But extreme speed is going to knock this thing out. To it KO, we do grow to level 21, which is fantastic. Don't learn anything, but that's okay. C Dot is the next Pokemon. Let's go into Peanut. Hopefully get to level 24. I don't think we are, though. Uh, we might get... You know, around half of the distance that we need to go. Yeah, about that. So, yeah. Uh, we're going to stay in here, and then we'll probably go to level 24 after we hopefully defeat this Cubone right here. Uh, so, that's going to be a two-hit KO as well. What the hell is this thing? He's, like, chucking, like, big target balls at us. You know, have you ever been to Target? The uh, store that has everything. <laughs> Target, I don't know if there's, I don't know what the slogan is, but those, like, Target, like, red balls that they have on the side of their outside their stores that's what it looked like that that cubone was chucking at us i don't know it's kind of weird uh but yeah okay so this fisherman only has one pokemon it's a magnemite and extreme speed is not gonna take it out wow telkinesis lowers our accuracy ember gonna destroy this thing <laughs> I, I i think the crit hit mattered there though I'm, I'm not sure though yeah definitely not okay cool 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 so, we, def we defeated Fisherman Wade. That's a pretty cool name. Fisherman Wade. Yeah. Let's check these rocks. These, these rocks look suspicious. Heart scale. I knew there was something odd about this rock right here. Uh, maybe not about these two over here, but uh, that one rock was just kind of sticking out. Pokemon, they always do some creative things with, with uh, the rocks and items, location. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I'm sorry. I need to go do other stuff. Last episode, we also got a bike, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, Pokemon Center real quick again. Heal up those moves just in case we need extreme speed. I don't think we will need more than three extreme speeds, but it is what it is. Alright, so let's go ahead and lead with our... Probably Olivia is our best lead. Even though Peanut is level 24. I think just Water Spout such a great move. It's just oh, it's so good that yeah, I think that's probably best just to get off a of Water Spout right away. I don't know the exact way to get through this, but I feel like I might have just accidentally solved the puzzle. I did, so that's cool. Uh, so yeah, here's Watson, good old Watson here. I remember in the uh, this uh, Pokemon Snakewood, which is a kind of like a modded version of this, Watson's a bad guy. Spoiler alert. Actually, I never finished the entire thing, so I'm not actually sure if he is a bad guy or not. Uh, but I think he was. And yeah, all right, here's Watson. He has three Pokemon. And obviously, they're all random for this Let's Play's purposes. And look at that, that, that attack. That's just crazy damage. And my mouse is doing some weird things right now. So if you see it fly across the screen, I am not controlling my mouse in that fashion. So I do apologize. <laughs> uh, wild mouse appeared. Uh, but yeah, all right. We're going to go ahead and Ice Punch. That seems to always be the best move to use. I have no idea what Imprison does. That was really strange. Shield opponent's move. So I have to use Ice Punch, I guess. Is that what it, it, it did? Um, let's go ahead and check. So I used to use Light Screen, and if I use Ice Punch again, then that will kind of figure that thing out. Alright, we used Silver Wind, so I don't, I don't know what that did. I don't know what that move did. That was kind of strange. Uh, Silver Wind doesn't do anything, and of course we don't get any boost from it either. Let's try Poison Tail. Why not, right? That did a lot of damage. 
Uh, Zangoose has... The, uh, the thing about this Let's Play is it didn't actually change any of the actual... Um, like base stats of Pokemon, their 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 moves may be different, and the uh, typing and the abilities may be different, but their stats are the same. And Zangoose has always had really really good attack, so we have to be careful about that. And this is not doing any damage, mainly because of the barrier, but still, this is not doing like any damage at all. Um, so I'm gonna go into my bag really quickly and actually use a super potion. Yeah, let's use a super potion. And it heals up 30 points, which is good, and he's going to use Swift again. He's just spamming those Swifts. That's doing a lot of damage, though. I think I can actually switch into Dragon right now, and that will actually not hit us, because that's a normal-type move, and I'm pretty sure we're resistant against that, so let's give that a try. Yeah, that doesn't affect us. That's really good. Uh, the Light Screen wore off, so we might actually be able to knock this thing out with an Extreme Speed. And I hope we do, because the Sangoose is a little scary. It is actually two levels higher than us. Uh, that's a crit hit, so that's actually not doing that much damage at all. Uh, Zangoose is going to set up another light screen. And I am just going to go for the Horn Drill. Because he is going to use a Super Potion. I knew that was coming. Because these trainers like to use their Super Potions. And can we get the 30% accuracy move? We cannot. Zangoose is unaffected by it. Oh, okay. So that means it's... What, what, I, I guess it's resistant to ground type. Is, is it ground type? I don't know if it's a ground type move or not. Let's go ahead and check. Uh, Pokemon. Summary. Um, it's a normal type move. That's kind of weird. Oh, I guess it, its ability is, is it not affected by super, or by moves that are like that. Let's go ahead and go into Olivia, though. Because we're having trouble defeating this Zangus, that's for sure. Uh, Imprison, but it failed, of course, because we just switched out. I am going to use a... He's going to Swift. Uh, that did a lot more damage than I was hoping it would do. Water Spout is not going to do as much as it normally would because we're not full HP. Uh, that, that is super effective, though, so that is good news. I'm going to use a Leech Seed. And he's going to Swift again. Don't get a crit. Okay, good. We're going to set up the Leech Seed. So that's going to be uh, you know, damage over time. And then I am going to go ahead and use a Super Potion, I think probably the best thing to do yeah let's do that let's go into our bag use a super potion right away we only have one more after this but we do go to full health it's probably gonna use another swift and swift is a bunch of pp too so we can just keep on using those swifts over and over again at his choosing uh so yeah that's good all right so we get a lot of not a lot but we get an, enough hp back and then we can water spout hopefully for the knockout he's gonna use another super potion which is really really annoying this Zangus man is just it's just killing us right now, but that's okay. Um, all right, so now that is not going to take it out, but it's very actually the, the leech seed might take it out. It is going to take it out. Good old leech seed coming in handy there. And Zangus is no more. Hopefully, we get some good amount of XP. Hopefully, like around 300 for all of our Pokemon. Uh, 270 and 270 and then 270. Cool. So that was actually that's actually a lot of XP. That was around like two. 220 no five uh 620 i don't know i don't want to do math right now uh maybe it's 680 i think actually i don't know doesn't matter <laughs> uh will you switch pokemon yes i will and it's actually a lot more xp than that but whatever doesn't matter <laughs> we're gonna go into peanut and i am going to go ahead and use another ice punch because that is the go-to move, is the Ice Punch. He's going to go into Unknown. <laughs> that is hilarious. I might actually Silver Wind. Because Unknown has, like, the worst stats ever. So, hopefully we can get some kind of boost with this with this Silver Wind. I never get any boost with this, I swear. Payday. Okay, go ahead and use Pain Day. Coins are scattered everywhere. Um, alright. Frenzy Plant just finished things off, hopefully. With that Zyra ult coming in. That's not gonna even, that's not gonna do that much damage at all. Alright, now we're after gonna recharge, so that sucks, but whatever. Alright, so Payday again doesn't do anything to us. It does like 7%. Coins are scattered everywhere. We must recharge. He's gonna use Payday again. And uh, that's going to do like a 6%. And now we can knock it out with a Silver Wind. As long as it hits. So there we go. It hits. It knocks out. And we don't get any boost. Not like we needed one, but still, no boost. 
That's fine, though. And uh, that's it for Watson. So, uh, got a, a pretty good battle there. That, that Zangoose was scary, man. Wow, that's pretty crazy. All right, so we got the badge. Uh, a lot of money for winning. That's definitely going to come in handy. Going to buy a lot of potions from that. I received the a Dynamo badge from Watson. So that's good. And he's going to give us a TM, which is, I don't know what it is. But uh, we get Rock Smash. I don't know where to get Rock Smash. We'll have to figure that out. Uh, but we get TM34, which is probably like Thunderbolt or something like that. Or like Thundershock. Thun uh, Shockwave. Okay. Cool. So it never misses, but uh, it's not that great of a move. Unless it might be good for one of our Pokemon. I'm not, I'm not going to teach it to anyone. I don't think it's that great of a move anyways. Uh, we'll battle maybe one more person and then call it an episode. Because why not? Why not battle another trainer or so in this area there we go we run into this guy this fella so yeah uh, i hope you enjoyed this episode everyone uh, if you guys can please leave a like down below and then leave also a comment in the descriptions down below that'd be fantastic i would really appreciate it and also i mean the comments uh the comment question the question of the day is uh, what, what what's like the best prank you ever pulled on someone um not necessarily just on April Fools, but just in general. Like, what's the best prank you ever pulled on someone? And also, uh, yeah, happy April Fools. Um, hopefully, I, you got a little bit of a laugh at the beginning there. Hopefully, caught some of you guys off guard. Don't worry, the Let's Play isn't coming to an end. We're still going, still going strong. Have our third badge, and, and I'm, I'm really excited about this team. Hopefully, we can get some more Pokemon. We've had some really, really terrible luck catching Pokemon lately. Uh, but we have our three Pokemon going three strong, and... You know, all you need is one, so we have three times that. So, yeah, anyways, I will see everyone next time. Hopefully you enjoyed this one, and I'll see everyone later. Peace.